Hello, welcome back. Last time we had a pretty sucking bon heavy episode. Got some interesting optimization problems. Games had an update since then. Whoa, the title screen does that when I sit here for long enough. I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, whoa, something's happening here. Well, that's going places. Wait a second. It leaves a J, or what I'm interpreting as a fish hook. Another reason I think there's going to be fishing in this game someday. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, uh, the notable thing in that update, um, I guess maybe the only one that I really know about, is that undo no longer comes with a penalty. So I can actually use my undo button, and uh, that'll be nice. I'm asleep in front of an arcade machine. Whoops, I pressed the button and, well, I'm here now. Alright, cool. So anyway, I want to... Uh, wait, I haven't done this. No, this is a new one. Okay, right. So, I just gained access to this. You were the one who told me about a something. Uh, alright. Well, sure. This is what I'm doing. So, uh... Conveyor belt upward, there with the C. Okay, so what am I doing? Right, remember how to, how to play this. I need the C block to cover both of those because A and B cannot do it. I have walking paths here. I don't think I have a good reset button still, but at least I have undo. Uh, I'm gonna be careful which button I press because one of them is hint and I don't want to do that by accident. Uh, wait, I can't move that right? I guess there are spikes somewhere in here. Wait, so how do I tell what's what? I kind of don't. I guess I have to assume that this block down from me is spike. So therefore I have to get the A out. Uh, okay, now I can verify. It is indeed. Now I'm gonna have to do something up here to move those aside, of course. That might be enough. I can't tell yet. C has to get through. A needs to not be in the way. Where do I put A? It looks like it has a parking space here that'll be out of the way of everybody. B has a parking space base that A needs to help it get into. Here? Like this? But then how do I move A back? Hmm, a conundrum. I can move it down, that seems bad. Because that's where the exit is. Okay, so C has to get on the other side of A. Sometimes, somehow. Hold on, C could pull B over, but then wouldn't it be stuck? Well, no, not exactly. Okay, so back to zero. So first step is... Escort B out of there with A. Like this. Then get A out of the way. I suppose I could, like, stash it at my starting position? Looking at it, I don't think the space is good for that. So it has to at least move there for me to get control of C. Probably needs to move farther. If I did this... After C was under my control... I still can't really work with it. Hmm. Okay, so... How do I get A out of my way? Like, if these two travel together... Oh, maybe this works. Actually, yeah, this totally works, doesn't it? Nearly. I need C higher. Like this? Uh, not yet, though. Okay, so a little dependency issue here. That's fine, actually. So something approximating that. The problem is these are spikes here and I needed to have moved that aside. And who's going to do for that for me? Not C. So it has to be A, right? But if it's A... Then how do I get A back up? It can go up like this, but then I'm not on the other side of it. Uh, 
I can't be in that little space with, uh, hmm. Oh, hang on. If, uh, you are... No. Like, there might be a very roundabout route I have to take here. Like, put A in there and then, like, pull it back out again or something? Or, no, hang on. Can I just... Ugh, hold up. So if I stop that there, put this here. No, no matter where C is, there's no way I'm getting A back up and around. Yeah, so I need to, I need to pull B back to the left, and I, I guess I have to assume that's C's job because it seems like A can't do it ever. So like this. But then how does C go up? It doesn't. What? Ooh, this one's hard. Can B go, like, up? No. Definitely not. A is big. It takes up a lot of space. If I could first get C to the other side of A, then pull A back out and... Move B over with it, maybe we'd have something. Maybe that's possible? Maybe I can... Uh, no, no, see the problem... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, don't be so sure. If I move this over here, if I move this over... Oh, it doesn't go. Whoa. Wait, but I can still do this. Okay. Okay, so that's at least a solution. Whoa, okay, you're a tricky one. Alright, now let's do it good. So there's 159. Obviously not very, uh... Not very quick. So move right first. You need to get out of the way to some degree. I probably want you all the way in your home. Or at least this far over. Let's say that far over. Because then C can push you along some amount. Uh, some amount. I do have to separate the two of you for this because I gotta push you down and get around C like this. Alright, let's see what this gives me. One thirty one all complete! Alright, that was the way. This is fascinating. Just like, there's there's this playfulness in some of these puzzles that makes me do this big, inefficient looking thing, but it's just, it's the most efficient, even if it's not efficient. And it's just what I have to do. It's cool. This is just real interesting. Hey, this looks familiar. The button is way over to the left. The thing it opens is in the upper left, kind of covered by the screen curvature. So B and C need to move down this time instead of into their little, uh, hidey holes there. And there'll be an extended arm for pushing this over, and that much is clear to me. So I think it's just that. And this might even be optimal. 103 all complete. It is. Great. Okay, I got a token. Okay, I think I see the joke here. A does nothing, right? Oops. Hey, check it out. I'm gonna undo... ...and not be punished for it. Oh! Do... What's happening? Ah... <laughs> uh, sing along? Oh jeez, what is happening? I solved the game. No, it wasn't my chance. I did it on purpose. Uh, <laughs> so this machine gets a super special celebratory dance here. Is there a Hall of Fame? <laughs> what is this?
So four dancers now. Is this the whole thing? I'm gonna press a button in a minute if this loops again. Okay, I'm gonna exit. Or, no, it ended. Okay! <laughs> well, that's the winning dance! Huh. I wonder why that machine in particular... Surely it's not like the last Silken Bond, like I can clearly see it's not. W weird. <laughs> okay! An experience was had. So, you, maybe that just like has a small random chance to happen after finishing a machine or something? Okay, so... Similar format... Plus spikes and conveyors and fences and stuff. Yeah, this is just like a corrupted looking form of that. So I mean my all these moves are forced so far. Here I have a choice. Sort of. I mean I have to do that at some point anyway. But now I'm stuck. Hold up. Okay, so the puzzle is how do I break out of this sequence of things so that A and B don't jam each other up? I don't have a choice here because there's spikes to my right. Ah, I have a choice here. There we go. And that is probably not enough. What will I need to do? Okay, so you're enough for at least A to push you down with it, but I can't get around A? Right, so what is this gonna mean? Well, leave B alone and put C in place at least, I guess. And see what happens with A here. zips over, that zips over. There's a conveyor, like, here, and I'm not sure why. A goes down, B goes down, cool, but I'm never getting around them. It doesn't seem like I'm ever getting B out on its own? Oh, but the switch is closer. I just need B out of the way in the slot. Okay, that's how it is. No, C out of the way in the slot, because B has to- no, but B can't come along. What? So, this conveyor here... ...really makes me wonder. Okay, I got an idea. B is there, but now I have a C problem. Actually, I have a me problem. But I can force my way through like that. Okay. All right, feels like this is probably on the victory path. It's pretty wild, but it's happening. Alright, cool. That solves it. All complete, great! These are so neat. Uh, okay, so this gate was opened. And I get to... I saw a thing that looked like this once. I got a cogwheel, did I? Okay, um, let me go back to the place where I saw the thing that I got that one time. Also, let's see, what's my map button? That's it. There's a bridge to the north. Oh, hang on, there's something of interest... ...over... ...here. There's, like, walkable sand in the- oh, that's a key! I got a store key, what? I love something, apparently. Okay, 
Okay, um, also, oh hey, green machine. Different format than the blue ones I've been working with. So that's the place you access by the mystery bridge. Uh, you talk about this. Mm-hmm. I want to look at my map again. I could look ahead on the map, but that's not what I choose to do. What is up with that thing I see down here? It's just a little funny-shaped piece of land with some sand at the end of it. Okay. Okay, so I have a store key and a cog wheel. I saw something that looked like this cog wheel once. And I think I've been to a store. Let's take a detour and see what's going on in Forreston. That's not too far back, right? Almost didn't see that key. It was pretty subtle in the ground. So, what are the buildings here that I can go into? Here's one. You're my friend. Owes me a big favor. Cool. Alright, and you're the one I can I can get in your bed, which is kinda wild. Um Alright then. Uh Right, I rescued your cat, that's what I did. It's a very friendly kitty and just climbed down from a tree it was stuck in when I got close. Right, that happened. Still don't know what you say, I'd have to like restart the game to find that out. So the cog wheels that I saw were like on this bridge, right? I can't interact with those, but yeah, those are clearly also cog wheels. Okay. Noted. Store key. Now why do I think I use this in Forreston? There was one unfriendly person who <laughs> Quite reasonably, didn't want me to just barge into their house. I left the door open, though. Was it here? Yeah, you. Alright. What if I mess around in your bed? I can't. Can I keep pestering you? Oh, I can! Should I? I'm gonna try. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, and is that just... okay. So I can get blasted by you, what if I go up this way? Yeah, you move to my location and just... just use a giant... beam of hurt on me, and I'm kicked out. Okay, well that's something. Uh, I no longer think this... hang on, GPS store... store key... Okay, cool. Maybe key for a different store. Alright, anyway, I checked. Let's take the northern road. I haven't been up here, have I? Oh, also... no, I've talked to you before. Arr. Okay, right, so I used that machine, but there's a there's a there's a walking path here that I've never taken. Has a sign. Forest Woods! Okay. <laughs> right, Forest Woods. That's a name. <laughs> so now it's both. Why not? Is this... yeah, okay, I could have slid down there from up where I was. Now there's, there's still something of... ah, dig spot. Yeah, okay, I saw the way to get there. Uh, the button is this one, that's X. Okay, so when it, when it says X, it means right face button on my controller. This was something I saw from... oh, hello. Oh, hello. Going off the beaten path a bit. Secret silken bun. Alright, we've got a packing problem. Cool. 
Okay, uh, so A moves aside. It's gonna have to move more aside than that. But B has to go first. B is the largest and has to go first, but also looks like it can't? Without A going to a bad spot? Also, C is in the way. Okay! So, tricky packing problem. I think I might understand, though. So you actually want to go right, that's fine. C will hide where? I can't move B to the right. I will eventually want to do this. However, at what point do I have an opportunity to get C around it? Never? Maybe not with A there. Or maybe I'm looking at it wrong. Hmm. Can I move B some and then move A? No. Maybe? This is some funky music. Okay, yeah, that's... This could work? Maybe? Maybe. I'm unsure about anything. Oh, hold on, maybe if A went down one more. But then how am I getting B back? I'm not. So I'm trying to do something like... this, but... that doesn't work in so many ways. Alright. Uh... You could move farther down, and I could shove C up somewhere else, if that would help. Okay, so if B went all the way over, I'd never get to the other side. Yeah, so it's getting B on the other side of these two that's the issue here, and it doesn't need to be that way, right? I'm pretty sure. Because it goes in there, and then these two pack it in like uh, this. No, I have this wrong. That doesn't cover the space. No, 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 I'm making a different shape. Because the upper left is unoccupied. So if B took up these spaces... And that's actually no good. Wait, hang on. So, five A's, three C's, six B's. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay, no, I have to... I do need perfect packing efficiency, but... Like, B needs to flip horizontally or something, and that's not gonna happen. Okay, no, just reverse C and A horizontally. So B takes up these spaces, C takes up these spaces, A takes up these spaces. Doesn't really change the fact that I still need to get C around B, right? But... There might be... let's see. Some possibility of that's no good already. If I'd moved A somewhere else, maybe... where? So B has to get around A at the very least. I can do that like this. So then the C problem. Just kind of looking at my space. Opportunities for switching these around. It's gonna have to be in the upper left. It's the only open space. So what does that mean? I certainly can't do that ever. If this were here, I still couldn't... Uh, that space is just so that I can walk to the exit once it's open. Hmm. Uh, 
C could go all the way to the right if B was already down, but that would involve it already having been around. Like, they, they have to get around each other initially. This doesn't work. That's not enough space. Okay, so hang on. So what do I know for sure? I've seen the layout that works here. B is 5 wide. This... This pinch from here to here is 6 wide. A and C are both at least 2 wide. And, and too tall. Neither is shaped such that B could get around. So maybe the trick is that C stashes in a place like this. Because B has a lever I can pull from. I don't see how that's going to work, though. Like, if that were there, and B was, like, say... Just, just ignore this for now. Uh, so if I had my B there, that's no good. If I had my B here, while I could pull the B away from the wall... Oh, hang on, but C can go up farther. That doesn't help me. Hmm. Somewhere I can get these around each other. Somehow. Yeah, this looks like a pretty serious uh, puzzle here. Like, now there's the pinch between this wall to my south and the one to my west. That C can never really get through. Once B is down, C has to already be on the other side. C's not getting away from that wall ever. So A and B can move away from the left wall, C cannot. So C is never moving that far left. Okay, so that's one thing that I know. Still trying to see if there's a way to make that work. I don't see one. That pinch is too tight. What the heck? Oh, hold on. Could I get... Okay, so forget about move count for a moment, just... Do I have something here? I might have something here, actually. Not quite. Oh, well, that's not the shape I'm making anyway. Hold on, wait. Then, if I make the shape I'm making... Still no. Okay, if I make a different shape than the one I'm making. A is still wrong. Your ultimate position is there, but B has to be on the other side of you. And C is just super in the way. Now hold up. No. No. Mm. If I have to push B left, I need at least one of those channels clear.
A is not around B. It has to be. Okay, this is a good state to experiment from. Okay, that right there is a good way to get C around B, but, but I still have the A problem. And the A problem is not helped with this, right? No good. Also the wrong shape, overall. What? What is this? Okay, this one is, like, real serious. Okay, there's an idea. What if I inserted B into that slot? That changes the width of the pinch. Oh, that might be it. Gonna stash these over here. Insert you way down there, because since you have a nice handy handle that I can pull you out with. If I did that around A, then okay, so that little key spot seemingly was the entire thing. Okay. I knew it had to be something like that because, like, the stuff I was trying was just clearly impossible. Uh, okay, and I only need to go this far with you. Okay. Okay. This is it. If I do this, is that any faster? Probably not. There we go. Okay, so that's a solution. With 96, I can do it a little faster. Okay, that one spot. Very, uh... Very hard to spot. So I want... I don't have to interact with C at all initially here. Until now. Okay, then. C comes up somewhat so that B can get through. C's moving back down. I think that's the most efficient thing to do there. This only needs to move this far, so let's just go ahead and put... A in place, C in place, push the whole package over. That gives me a score of 92, which is insufficient. Okay. So now moved optimization. <laughs> okay. Uh... I can't do this. I need to specifically go this way. Uh, I can't put it any farther down. But I do indeed not need to interact with C yet. Not until now. So C can push B over. I think I pushed B separately and that wasted two turns, maybe? I keep looking for a way A could push C down. Okay, so I'm at 48 right here. Let's say I pushed that right one more. And did this. That gets me a score of 92. Okay, so 48 was my reference. Alright. Phase 2 of puzzle. Should be easier than phase 1. Because phase 1 just realized... Just required realizing something that I... Had so much trouble seeing. So right again. That's 48. A thought. That thought. Oh, that's clearly better. Here we go. Here we go. This is the way. This is the way. This is gonna be it. 80. All complete. There we go. <laughs> wow! Alright. Serious puzzle. I found a mushroom. I had to really work for this mushroom. Alright. Highly valuable mushroom. There's something to the right. Whoa! There's like a Metroid level over there or something. What? Okay. <laughs> Wild, like, machinery or something going on underground here. Alright. So, uh, that was a little side adventure in the sea. And there's no way I'm going to be able to get down from here to uh, that bridge, right? It's a flower! I got a flower! Okay. And yeah, bridge is totally the only way in there. 
Well, unless that's a way in, and not just a way... something. But then I'd be confronted with the gate, so no, I gotta get to the bridge. Gotta get to the bridge, that's the answer. Okay, whoo! <laughs> Gonna park myself in a good spot. I already dug this, I can dig it again. And I got a worm this time. So yeah, I can just get... random worms in holes sometimes. Okay, so, next place is gonna be up here. Gotta interact with the machine to open it, and that'll be next time. Oh boy, <laughs> that was some work. I'll see you next time.